right, we got the door key now. be on another floor. The prisoner you're looking for in another prison. Yikes. Okay. Um... sure I was going to get uh, wrecked there. Punching robots to death. Robots with guns. Mm -hmm. Got loads of ammo. Don't be afraid to hose down a robot if I need to. Trolling, you really see the bodies, probably. Come over here, check it out. What's going on? Look at the oh, look at the cat, look at it so cute and blue, and uh oh, you're just gonna go. It's like it won't detect it if it's still like being generated. building. It's a lot of reading, but I do like it. All right, growing concerns about energy development. Over the years, competition between world superpowers and rampant population growth have taken a considerable toll on the planet's supply of natural resources. Gee, you think? Uh, through the events of the uh, Caspian War and the conflicts, uh, the proceedings that were notorious for being a massive drain on fossil fuels like oil and natural gas, they are far from being the only examples of resource mismanagement in the 21st century. Since energy consumption rises with every passing year, I thought one of these companies had made a fusion reactor. I thought the 
One of the companies we read about. Maybe they were working on it. They're always working on it. I feel like Fusion is one of those things that's always, you know, 15 to 25 years away. All right, let's see here. Since energy consumption rises with every passing year, there have always been a need to seek out and collect new sources of energy. Yet, for a long period of time, little effort was paid to the development of renewable energy systems. It was only that when the resources sort of just threatened to jeopardize the stability of various countries, the government officials began to consider new ways of remodeling energy infrastructure of their nation. With the United States, problems arose as early as 2031 when oil imports became more difficult for the nations to secure in order to uh, assuage the potentially devastating repercussions of the oil deficit. The United States began investing heavily in nuclear, solar, and wind power in the in mid to late 2030s. By 2046, the portion of electricity supplied by energy grid by nuclear power plants rose to over 37%, while coal and natural gas plants began to trail behind. number of modern cars and trains and subways running on electrical power systems similarly grew by as the corporations found new ways to innovate on previous models. Despite this, the fossil fuel industry is still extremely lucrative. The corporations that make the most non-renewable non resources like oil, coal, are unlikely to go out of business until they've exhausted the planet's entire supply of these fuels. Currently, oil reserves are projected to... Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, definitely a... Dystopian. Is cyberpunk automatically dystopian? We're going to go kind of more one way or the other. I'm going to whip a stun grenade right out there as soon as... Hmm. Doors locked, defined as a key. Where am I? Right there. I guess it's always a bit dystopian. See me through there. Q. 
security cam. Oh, I thought I could one-shot him. Oh, balls. Oh, God, go all the way back. She just cloaked. I had the power pool. What are we going to do? What time was it? 12.04. I really like to get this level done. I'm halfway through. Not killing fast enough. Went so smoothly last time. Just done great in there. Can't remember. Oh, cheer. man is deep in thought at this vending machine. I mean, nothing is going to distract him. Oh, it's going from bad to worse. First run here went so smoothly up until the very end, and then it just didn't work at all. So interesting, they can't see you over the stuff, but they can shoot you.
too many eyeballs here. Stun like different from different ranges. Ah. <laughs> All right. One more try, and I gotta get. I gotta get some lunch. I am starving. I got up way too early this morning. Not enough foods. Pick off. Pick this up again tomorrow if I can't do it here. Must have been, must have been a noise thing. Did not want to hit F. Okay. Got their tension up there anyway. Just these two guys. Oh, stop overlapping our fields of view. Got lucky there. He did not freak out. Okay. Low on health. I cannot screw this up. No room for air, really. Stealth out for this morning. I'm hungry. Too hungry to be sneaky. So we will uh, pick up this again tomorrow. It's fun. Little 
it's a weird blend. It's like you could be super violent and charge through there. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the game is kind of pushing you towards the stealth aspect of it. Yeah, I don't know. This is enjoyable. It's not quite. I would have liked like a hotline. I'm just like, give me just a straight up cyberpunk hotline Miami style. Weird, weird cyber powers. The cyberpunk setting. You know. Hotline Miami style. That would have been cool. But the stealth is, you know, it's an interesting twist. Anyway, but we're going to get through this. So we'll be back tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern, for more of uh, Disjunction. Kind of interested to see where this plot goes. I assume it's one of the mega corporations doing something sneaky. You know, usually. Well, so that's what we're going to guess. I'm going to guess that it's uh, not Goliath. The other one's been mentioned so many times. They're up to they're up to something. What? I'm not sure yet. We shall see. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for hanging out this morning. This was fun. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow morning for more Disjunction, and then I don't know how long this game is going to be. I assume, depending on how many times I die, probably another day. So, another day of this, and then we're going to be jumping into um, Journey to the... Guys, uh, my mind is blanking now. Uh, journey to the Savage Planet. There we go. I know we're going somewhere. On some journey. Not sure where we're going. We're going to the Savage Planet. Uh, after this. It should be fun. Good. I'm a wacky exploration space game on a weird planet. Um, and let's see what else is going on this month. I think... I need to double check, but I know the Outriders demo comes out at the end of this February. 25th, I think. I'm not sure if it's streamable. I assume it is. But I think I would like to check that out. I'm not 100% on that though because of. I want to play the demo, I just want to wait until the full thing comes out a month after that. I think it's in April, early April. That uh, Outrider comes out. That's the last one I'm looking forward to. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to make a call on that later in the month. But I think that's all I've got to say for this morning. So, guys, hope you had a great weekend and enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe, be good to each other, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.